it is almost October. Mm -hmm. Today is September 30th, so tomorrow is October 1st, which means really truly we're in the middle of fall. Somebody tell outside that so that it's not so hot. I'm ready for fall. Are you ready for fall? Anyway, we don't have a breathing birthdays today, but we do have a birthday on Saturday. And on Saturday, Armand in 1B is having a birthday. So Armand, come on down to the office for your birthday treat. I know they're waiting for you. And um, that's it. We don't have any other birthdays. So there we go. But I do have a point. So I had to find a book about autumn or about fall. Autumn is another word for fall. And this book is called Autumn Blings, like tumbling autumn blings. And it's written and it's illustrated by Douglas Florian, which I love. I like, I had two points today. Sorry, teachers. I hope you don't mind. Because I like the way that he wrote these because it gives us two different perspectives, two different ways of thinking about something. And it's about one thing, but two different ways of thinking about it perspective. What I love about autumn. Apple picking, frisbee flicking, falling leaves, bracing breeze, huh? flying kites, cool crisp nights, trick or treat, sweets to eat, pumpkin pie, clear blue sky, fireplaces, relay races, football games. I love that autumn has two names. So autumn and fall. That's what I love about autumn. Hmm, okay. And if you look, do you see his hair? It's all different flower, uh, trees, and it's all the things that he was talking about in his poem. Isn't that cool? Okay, so here's the other one. What I hate about autumn. Summer's done. Not much sun. Back to school. I'm not sure I like that. Air's too cool? Mm. Winds that gust, rains that rust, chilly nose, woolen clothes. Birds don't sing. I hate that autumn's far from spring. So you have to decide which one do you think is right. That I love autumn? I hate autumn. Look at, he does not have a very good face, does he? He is not having a good attitude. Oh, sorry, where'd it go? There he goes. Did I get it? Yes, there. This is hard to do, teachers. Anyway, there you go. So, there you go. There's my poem. Hope you liked it. I hope you guys have a great, great Friday. Special Friends Day. Oh, my goodness. It's going to be busy in the library. And have a great weekend, and we'll see you on Monday. Keep reading. Good morning. My name is Elisa. Will you please stand for the United States Pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. My name is Yuka. Please remain standing for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for the moment of silence. September 30th is American Indian Heritage Day in recognition of the historical, cultural, and social contributions American Indian communities and leaders have made to our great state. Next week, our character trait is going to be leadership. Leadership is not being the boss and always getting your way. Leadership is helping and encouraging those around you to be their very best and to keep going when things get hard. Sometimes leadership even means taking the blame for something that you didn't do or that wasn't entirely your fault. Good leaders show fairness, kindness, and responsibility. How can you be a leader next week? Our self-care strategy for next week is a little bit different because it's not a breathing strategy. It's called the magic mustache. Did you know that you have a pressure point right under your nose above your top lip? 
If you press your finger on that pressure point and hold pressure there for a little while, it can really help calm your body down. Use your finger to be like a, ma a mustache with that magic power of making you feel calm by pressing it on that pressure point and count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's okay, I'm gonna make it muted anyway. <laughs> it's for a moment of silence. Oh, um, I'm gonna only have 13 today, so I have to, or 12. Oh, wow. So. I don't know if I have enough room for all those children. Yeah, exactly. I, I will try to uh -huh. squeeze us in. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, how are you feeling? My name is Rakaya. Please join us in saying the Lakeside Pledge. I am respectful to others. I am responsible for self. I am honest and kind. I will take initiative and persevere. Follow us. We are Lakeside Longhorns. Have a thrilling Thursday.